Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I've got an unboxing for you today. I've got a stack of, I don't even know what deliveries that have been piling up over the last couple of months. Um, all stuff that I either had a good deal on or were speculating on. We're gonna take a look at that in a second. Um, trying a couple new things with uh, lighting and microphone, so hopefully this works out well and I don't have to do this over again because once the boxes are open, they're open. All right, let's go. All right guys, so like I said, I've got a stack of boxes here uh, from a bunch of different places. Funko directly, Barnes & Noble, Amazon. Um, these are all gonna be Funko Pops. Uh, like I said, things that I got uh, either a good deal on or I had advance notice was coming out so I was able to get a jump on things. So some of these are like limited edition. Um, basically, I you know bought them at retail and I'm gonna turn around and flip them here um, for, uh, for profit, right? Let me grab the Funko app because we're also going to pull these up and check the valuations on them here as we go. Um, if you don't know, the Funko app has uh, a built-in um, uh, price guide valuator. Basically what it does is they've teamed up with this independent website, uh, poppriceguide.com, uh, and integrated it into the app. So there's a function here where you can scan the barcode and uh, it'll give you um, the Pricing information that has like a um, collection list things and or a wish list thing so you can keep track of what you have and what you want things like that. All right, ready? I feel like I'm going really fast. Am I talking really fast? That's all right. It's gonna take me a while to get back into the flow of things. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm filming this video when I'm supposed to be working, but it's my last week and um, well, fuck them. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. This one's from Funko, packing slip. I have to make sure I don't put the um, shipping label in there, huh? Probably should have marked all those out ahead of time. Okay, so we'll get rid of this box over here. Uh, Funko, when you order directly from Funko, they ship everything in these, uh, what's called a um, sorter box. And, oh, okay, I know what this is because it says on the label, but this is really cool. Uh, I got an advance email on this just because I'm on their mailing list that this was going to be available. And they've done a couple different versions of this pop, and they're all super cool. But they've almost always been, like, convention exclusive, so I haven't been able to get one. Uh, so when I was able to order this one from Funko directly, this is a... Funko Shop Limited Edition Bigfoot, and it's in like a rainbow, I don't know, I guess Gay Pride. I'm not I'm not certain if it's intentionally Gay Pride or if they're, they've used this uh, mold for, I don't know, like five or six different pops. They've done, um, they did a basic Bigfoot. They did a green one for Emerald City Comic Con. I know they did a Yeti version for uh, Canada Fan Expo. Um, they've done a couple others. Um, box is mint condition. Uh, the reality is, is that collectors are anal about the boxes. So when you're trying to sell it at, um, you know, top value, you want to make sure your box is in good condition. Um, they have just like with, uh, you know, baseball cards or trading cards have sleeves, comic books have the bags and boards. There's soft protector and hard protector boxes for Funko Pops as well. Um, and I've got a stack of those sitting over here. So this is going to go right into a, uh, soft protector here. Um, after I'm done filming. The sculpt on it is really kind of cool, actually. I haven't seen the mold up close. I've only seen pictures of it. Um, but he's kind of cool. There's a lot of detail on the fur. Uh, the paint job is cool. Uh, there's like a... There's there's a lot of dimension and depth to it. There's a, You can see layers of the fur, and then there's layers around... I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's layers sort of around his face where it transitions to his fur almost like two pieces. So really cool pop. Um, this one's gonna be hard for me to, to, to let go just because of, you know, Bigfoot is such an iconic uh, um, Im image, I guess, or myth here in the Northwest. Um, this has actually gone down the last couple of days. Trending value right now is $38. So I got this for, I think, $22 shipped. It was only, it's only $15, but you had to pay shipping and unfortunately flat rate shipping from Funko is $6.99 if you're ordering a bunch of stuff it's still only $6.99 but with these um, special uh, um, Funko shop releases you either a have to just get one and pay the shipping or b you have to 
hope that uh, it doesn't sell out right away, and then you can go in and put a bunch of stuff in your cart and um, and just buy the one. And I've done that before, or I should say, and just pay the shipping once. I've done that before. Uh, picked up some things that weren't as popular, and didn't sell out. Um, but so let's see, what did I say? Twenty two. So almost doubling my money. What, you know, selling that. Obviously, that doesn't include seller's fees and things like that. But at the moment. Um, that one, I'm basically doubling my money. The The thing about the Funko Pops and the flipping them and the reselling them is that there's basically two ways to get the most out of your money. The first is to sell it immediately. Now, the, that one, I think, came out two or three weeks ago because, like I said, it's gone down in the last couple days. Um, so it was right around $43, $44. As more people post them on eBay and try to uh, resell them, obviously that drives the price down. Um, so the best time was either three weeks ago or if I wait probably a month or two, you'll see it start to go back up because um, the the early sellers will have all sold. There'll be fewer on the market. The prices will start to creep back up. Uh, but you know, we'll see. I, there, I have such a, a backlog of stuff to go through. I don't know. That one I might sit on. Like I said, I kind of like that one. I might want to keep that one. Um, but I also think the price is going to start to go up uh, here over the next, I don't know, three to six months probably. All right. This is a box from Barnes & Noble. I, t I, don't, I have no idea what's in this. Not a clue. Um, I signed up for Barnes & Noble's uh, membership club uh, a couple weeks ago. Basically, I was buying a bunch of stuff between myself and the wife. And... Um, you know, for 25 bucks, you get, I don't know, 10 or 15% off or something. I've already made back my $25, let's put it that way, in savings and other stuff. So now at the same time, I've spent more money at Barnes & Noble than I would have otherwise. But, you know, that's the name of the game, right? What have we here? Oh, okay. This, huh, this one is super cool. This one I'm probably keeping because I think it's not actually worth anything. But I was, I, I couldn't believe that I was able to get it. This is... The Office Michael and Toby two pack, and Toby's got the uh, the rock that says "You suck" on it. Uh, from uh, was that when he was leaving, or when Michael was leaving? It was when when Toby was leaving for uh, for um, Costa Rica, I think. I've se I've watched the show a thousand times, but I uh, I've seen it so many times now I don't even pay attention. Um, the sculpts are really nice. They, they, they're definitely, they definitely look like the people that I've noticed they've gotten better over the years, but the thing with Funkos is that I've noticed the, uh, when they're doing people, it's kind of iffy on, uh, on how good the sculpt is, especially in the face and whether or not it actually kind of looks like the character paint job's pretty good. I just see a couple of, uh, little spots on the tie where it's, you know, a little shaky, but uh, to be honest, that's always been the case. The paint jobs on Funkos have always been a little spotty. But uh, I looked this up the other day, and it's not really worth um, anything. Uh, I got it, like I said, I think it retails for $20. I got it for, yeah, $19.99 is the retail. I got it for like $16 with all this, the discounts and stuff that I had. Um, and I think it's only worth like $22 at the moment. So I'll probably, this will just be for me. Let's get the scan coming. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, twenty one dollars. So, um, not in not in any hurry to sell this one by any means. Probably just keep this for myself. I'm a huge Office fan. I just I love. I just love the dynamic on this one. I have no idea what this one is. This is oh, this is from Walgreens. Okay. So I for, I forget what I ordered. Um, basically, what happened was I was watching. I'm gonna put a link down in the description to Franchise Kicks. Uh, he's a YouTuber who I really enjoy watching. He basically does the same thing. He resells uh, Funkos and he buys liquidation pallets, all the same stuff that uh, that I've been talking about um, doing here on uh, on this channel. Um, and he mentioned that he went on Walgreens' website and was able to order a bunch of pops. And I, I knew Walgreens had a lot of exclusives, but I didn't know that you could... Um, that you could uh, order them from the website. So uh, I went in and checked it out and then I think I was able to do pretty good. So the first one I'm gonna pull out, again, this one's just for me because it's only worth about 10 bucks and that's about what I paid for it. 
which is funny because I think the original retail was $20, but it's a two-pack, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, and IRS, Mike Rotunda. These guys were huge in the late 80s, early 90s in uh, the WWF. Um, and honestly are two of the best looking pops just in general. I don't know if you can see the detail there on Million Dollar Man. He's got the Million Dollar Belt. He's holding stacks of money, the hair, the beard. Uh, IRS is carrying the briefcase. Let's see if I can tilt it there so you can see. Um, and he's got the uh, his, his glasses, his signature uh, no line, no rim glasses. So uh, the paint job on these are, is really incredible. There's no streaks or smears or or um, like nicks uh, in the paint that I can see at all. So this these are super cool pops. Just as a as a fan uh, and as a collector, these are awesome. And you know, boxes mint condition, uh, which is always a, a question when you're ordering online. You never really know how they're going to package them. I'll be honest, these weren't packaged very great. I do see some damage there. Um, these weren't packaged great. Uh, in fact, I can see it looks like something heavy was probably sitting on this because there is some box damage. Um, but, um, but oh gosh, yeah, there's a lot of box damage. Okay, well, that's all right. I got them cheap, so it'll be what it's going to be. Uh, item next is the Walgreens exclusive Spirit Spider which is a Gamerverse, so I'm guessing this is from the most recent um, Spider-Man uh, video game for PS4. I haven't played it yet. I did have a concern about this one. The Walgreens exclusive was supposed to glow in the dark, and I don't think this one does, because I think it's his eyes that are supposed to. So I think I took a, a flyer on this. Yeah, okay. Um, so this one's basically worth what I paid for it, uh, unfortunately. Uh, $15. And I think there was some indication that it was, like I said, it was supposed to be a glow-in-the-dark one and that that one actually was worth uh, quite a bit more. But the way they had it on their website, you couldn't tell, yeah. So there's a glow-in-the-dark one that, oh, see, now it says Chase. Let's see if you can see that. But it's uh, worth about $24. I don't think you'll be able to see it. But... Uh, usually when it's a chase there's a chase sticker on the box and they didn't have that on here so unfortunately i you know i was operating off of incomplete information and took a flyer on it but that's all right it's a really cool looking pop so i, I suspect that it will be um worth it in the end one way or the other and then finally i got two i ordered two of these because i was concerned that there would you know that, it, that there would be damage realistically like i said um when you're ordering pops from certain companies' websites, you have to order like four or five if you want to hope to get a good one. Um, but it's just, it's a very simple one. It's just Black Canary uh, from DC. You can see over here, I'm backwards here, how it got smushed there and down there. And there's uh, the corner up here is a little dented. So unfortunately, the box is basically, you know, I don't know, probably a six or a seven um, out, of, uh, out of 10. The weird thing about this one is that it's not, I don't think it's vaulted yet. No, it's not. It's brand new, but the trading value on it is $32, which is really weird. Um, now, the $32 value does have the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive sticker on it. This is a shared exclusive with Walgreens. Uh, so these ones won't be quite that much. Um, they'll probably be closer to $25, but I only paid $10 a piece for them. Um, let me see here. Let me add these to my list. There we go. Um, so those will be for sale. We're going to flip those for sure. Uh, it's unfortunate that this one got trunched basically, but that's why I ordered two of them because I, I knew that was a, uh, a possibility. All right. And then finally, I believe, I'm a little concerned because this is a huge box. And I think this has two pops in it. Unless I ordered more of them. But this was a pre-order special edition from Amazon, I heard of this back in um, probably May, maybe March, March or May. Amazon has got to get their packaging like straight. Seriously, the packaging is trash. We just had a package delivered today. It was, it was a box. It was bigger than this box. It was bigger than this stacker or um, sorter. It was about the size of the, actually the about the size of the box that this box came in. It had a bunch of the uh, air, you know, thingies in it, these gimmicks. 
and it had one tube or, or whatever, one container of um, of um, fingernail polish. That was it, just loose in there floating around. Oh my God, it is a wonder that these made it here. So basically this giant box, some air pouches, and then what I have is this Amazon exclusive Becky Lynch, the man, pop. Um, I don't even think this one, I ordered two of them for the same reason is, is that uh, I wanted to make sure I got, a, you know, increase my odds of getting one. Slight damage on the box. It looks like that was done in shipping though, or I should say at, at the warehouse, um, at the Funko warehouse. Very, very minor. I don't think it's going to affect the value on these at all. Um, these are, are really cool pops. I don't know if, you know, if you're a wrestling fan, you know, Becky Lynch is like the hot ticket. Um, I don't think this has a trending value yet. Yeah, it doesn't. Insufficient data for trending value, which means nobody's selling them. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to look this one up. Okay, so it looks like Becky Lynch is selling for about $20 shipped, um, which is realistically about $15. So uh, I think I paid uh, $12 or $13 for it. I'm guessing. I don't think I have a pack. Uh, these are basically worth what I paid for. Those are the unboxings for today. I appreciate you guys rocking with us. Um, let me know down in the comments section how the lighting and the um, audio is. I made a bunch of changes and, you know, I test it and I check it and I try to, um, you know, make sure that it's good. But, uh, it, you know, what... There's certain things that look like trash to me because of the monitor I'm on that if you that for you guys looks great and there's certain things that sound great or look great to me that are not great for you guys. So please let me know. I want to make sure that uh, we're getting this dialed in as we get back getting our feet wet uh, with you know YouTube and you know streaming or whatever um, version you're on. Uh, later this week I should have a video up where we're going to uh, we're going to go through and price out. Um, some of our pops and we're going to get them listed uh, on uh, eBay most likely um, and get the process started for selling. Um, I'm also in sometime in the next, I would say sometime in the next, in the, within the next seven days uh, from the day this video goes up, uh, I'm going to start pulling some of my sort of backlog uh, in uh, stuff that I have that's much older and uh, maybe you know less commonly floating around and we're gonna go in and we're gonna price that stuff out and get that stuff listed and try to get that stuff flipped as well um, those items I've had for years I have no idea what I paid for them at this point so we're not necessarily gonna be looking at flipping our money we're gonna be looking at liquidating on those so um, maybe even pricing below what everybody else is to, to try to move it and get it out so uh, that's all I got for you right now. Appreciate you guys rocking with me. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. I've seen the, the comments, the messages on the on YouTube, on Discord. Some of you guys reached me on Twitter. Love you guys. Appreciate you. I'm going to see you next time.